This is Credit Matters and I'm Greg Mosko. It's the Global Fixed Income Research Group. The number of rising stars increased by 2 to 26 issuers as of October 8th, from 24 issuers as of September 8th. Both additions to the list are from the home builders and real estate sector. Home builders and real estate now has a plurality of rising stars, along with financial institutions at five issuers each. We define rising stars as issuers that Standard & Poor's rating services has upgraded to investment grade triple B minus and higher from speculative grade double B plus and lower. The number of rising stars this month was three more than the rising stars count one year prior, which was 23 issuers. In comparison, 52 fallen angels were reported through October 8th. The number of potential rising stars has increased to 28 this reporting cycle through October 8th, with five additions and two removals. Of the 28 potential rising stars, 14, or 50%, are based in the U.S., followed by Europe with eight issuers, or 28%. The 28 potential rising stars account for $178.6 billion in rated debt. We define potential rising stars as issuers rated double B+, with either positive outlooks or ratings on Credit Watch with positive implications. A positive outlook or Credit Watch positive placement is a good leading indicator of actual upgrades. The Credit Watch status and rating outlook are strong predictors of rating actions, both in the aggregate and broken down by rating category, region, or sector. However, there are 47 potential fallen angels compared with 28 potential rising stars. An increasing potential rising stars count indicates that the rising stars count may increase at a faster pace going forward. This has been Credit Matters. Thank you for watching.